but we are live. What is going on? It is time for Toy Show number 80, Spaghetti right. and Friends. Boy, we getting close to the one hundo. Getting close to that hondo, man. What is going yeah, on? Getting really close to that hondo. Yeah, man. We got a great show. I mean, what's going on, everybody? Uh, we're kind of light on some men tonight. So, you know, uh, Mattitude 22 is on assignment for clickbait wrestling. So, you know, but he will be back with us next week. And we have some special announcement, by the way, about that. But we'll get into that on another time. And uh, Derek, uh, he should be here soon if he's coming, you know. But Daniel always in the chat. Yes, we get in this party started as always. We got top tens. We got fake news. We got discussions. Oh, hell yeah. Let's get this jumping off. You, Vinny, you ready? I am as ready as I'll ever be. Are you ready for your number one source for news and information? Give it up with Vincenzo and some fake news. Thank you very much. Now to get started, um, uh, I tried to find these pictures on Google. Couldn't find them anywhere, so I decided to pull them up on my phone where I found them. Well, for NYCC exclusives for Storm Collectibles, one of these exclusives is oops, uh, a bloody version of the Mortal Kombat 3 Scorpion. Nice. Looks good. This is you know, the only p picture I have of it so far. Storm has not put them up uh, on the site. So pretty much just the same figure you know you got before, j j j j j just with the different uh, bl uh, blood effects. Uh, you uh, uh, what? Are you going to pick that up? No, uh, I never really collected the 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 uh, the, the uh, blood figures. I'm usually collecting the, the uh, clean ones. Mm -hmm. Perhaps one day if I'm crazy enough, but I haven't lost my sanity just yet. <laughs> now, next up, I'm kind of disappointed at this, but kind of understand why. One of the, our next exclusives is Cyber Smoke. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I can understand why um, he's an exclusive. They probably do not want, want to have a repeat of <clears throat> they. They probably do not want to have a repeat of what happened with the the uh, the previous ninjas. You know, releasing them co continuously back back to back. So I, I can understand why. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, but also of note. Figures such as uh, Cybex will be brought into the market early in New York Comic Con. So people who, who go there will be able to grab their Cybex um, early, earlier than everyone else. So pretty cool stuff. Now then, <clears throat> now then, our real stuff. Let me just turn on screen share. And we should be good to go. <laughs> Uh, let's talk about the Mezco exclusives. Uh, one of one of these ver exclusives is the Gomez Stealth Ops uh, edition. A goddamn ant. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Got two arms. Where the rest of his arms? Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, arms. He, he looks like the original yeah, fly from the fifties. Uh, still comes with that classic middle f middle finger ac accessory, w w which uh, I think is pretty cool. So this, this is like their mascot, right? Yes, Gomez is Mezco's mascot, and oh, and is it popular like that that they're making more. The, 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 you'd be surprised uh, how, how, how quickly the the the, Mez the Gomez figures uh, actually sell out. <laughs> The, the, in fact, the first uh, version, the exclusive from Toy Fair, people were demanding and begging Mezco to, to bring that to the market, so they made it an exclusive on their the website, which usually Toy Fair exclusives do not even get brought onto their site at all. So yes, there is actual demand for uh, for Gomez. Mm -hmm. Probably okay. Uh, yeah. If yeah. gonna pay for it, then I yeah. Yeah. Give me yeah. that. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, definitely. But one of these special things about Gomez is the amount of accessories each figure uh, c comes with. Uh, but this one doesn't have nearly as much as the previous two, but still cool quite a few. Uh, 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 Agent Edition and st Street Edition, which I may tr tr try to hunt down, um, they got, uh, have, been, have been given so much accessories that they rival the original P Punisher for if Mesco figure that was released. This figure... Uh, doesn't come with a whole a whole lot. Well, I mean, compared to the previous, but hey, it still is uh, pretty cool to see. Uh, and the um, price for it is one hundred and five dollars, not not including shipping or tax. And 
is it it is sold out if you want to try your luck with the waitlist then uh be 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 prepared to pay the price in case you end up winning it <laughs> uh, you, uh, you oh no i don't know if they had the storm collectible sector photo so that's probably why he didn't show it no 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 there aren't any uh storm collectible sector photos nothing that, that i could find <laughs> uh, uh, uh uh jimmy what'd you say i'm sorry oh no are you gonna pre-order this guy um, I did not pre-order it because I am going to New York Comic Con, so I'm so I'm going to uh, try and pick, <laughs> pick it up there. Ah. Mm -hmm. If not, I'll, I'll have to, to deal with the at the aftermarket. So fuck me if that happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of NYCC exclusives, the next exclusive is a two-pack. It is Batman versus the Black Mask two-pack. Two-pack. Although this is the Silver Rain Night Batman. The, the 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 second Onyx ver version. The Onyx version I have ha has the yellow si symbol on the chest, while this one is just all black. The utility belt's black. The symbol's black, pretty much. Uh -huh. And Black Mask uh comes with the two pack. That's pretty cool. Is there any other photos besides that one? Because that photo is not so flattering on Batman. The 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 the, the, the this is uh the this is the only photo we technically have on Mesco site because it has not been put up for a pre-order ju just yet. It is going up uh tomorrow. Uh, yeah. No. However, uh, Mesco did release a, a vi video on their YouTube channel and Instagram showcasing the figures with all the accessories and, and stuff, including the packaging. So uh, that's pretty cool. And <clears throat> A uh, black mask comes with a little uh, case. You can just barely see it in the background. Comes with a little case that comes with a uh, glow in the dark. Actually, no, light up effect. Uh, green canisters. And I mean, you... it's pretty cool. I, I kind of wish his mask was a little glossier, though. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. The mask is a little bit too. Uh, I want to say flat or matte. Uh, I'm not sure the way to describe it, but it should have been a bit more glossy. Uh, yeah. So to me, it kind of looks like a. Well, we'll have to sound racist, a black version of Red Skull. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that's kind of what he is, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get, get that. But, uh, but Black Mask should, 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 should have been a bit a bit more glo uh, glossy. Like in every incarnation I've seen, it always had a shine. This one does not really have that, but hey, I, I know I'm raving about that. It, it's only a, I'm, I'm just I'm I'm nitpicking. It, 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 I would, like I said, I would like I said, this is why I need to see more photos because like this 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 shot is just not flattering to either figure. No, I, I need to see more to make a judgment because it's like the Batman looks kind of funky, and, and Black Mask looks kind of funky too. But it's like this shot is just it's just not flattering. Yeah, I need to see more to make a judgment. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but, uh, but, uh, bring, bring this, bring this back next week, Vinny. So we I, can better I, look. I will bring this back. Me. I want to see it again, but I, I need more photos because this, uh, like I said, this photo is just not. It ain't hitting. Uh, uh, I will definitely. We will definitely come come back to this uh, next week. That that is what I was uh, pl planning on uh, on doing. Uh, uh, but everyone watching and you collect mescos just as much as I do. You have time to pre-order it uh, for tomorrow, though. Be warned, you are going to need a thirty-seven and dollar and fifty cent uh, non-refundable deposit, because th this set, is, is, even though it's a two-pack, is one of the more expensive sets. One hundred and fifty bucks. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Question: uh, I might, This might be a stupid question, though. When you put down this, the thirty-seven fifty, you still don't have to pay a buck fifty afterwards, right? Uh, you only pay. Uh, uh, you pay the rest of the difference. Yeah, well, like um, <clears throat> you pay the NRD now, but when the item is ready to ship, Mesco will email you and remind you to uh pay up the the rest of the the rest of the the, the, the money. Okay, that's 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 what I figured out. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, 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 although in Jimmy's case, when you got the Daredevil figure, they just charged you without you uh, you knowing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's weird. I, I I guess it's because it was a waitlist figure. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's weird anyway um the, the, these are the the, the mesco exclusives uh we have to uh, talk to talk about but we will come come back to uh the, the set next week so stay stay tuned for that and um, uh, my boy matt is not here so i have, so I have to, to uh show this to him later one of the next jojo super action statue figures we're going to be getting is dio from part three 
my, my, my opinion, um, the looks fantastic. Although I'm not a fan of, of the shoulder articulation, looks extremely limited. Not not too much of a fan of that. C comes with a si signed post, a, a bunch of knives, speaker because that's just deal for uh, for you. And it comes with a, a bunch of fingers. So uh, fingers, Pff, hands. Excuse me. So. Uh, pretty cool stuff, although his price got bumped up to $100, which I don't understand. And another thing I don't understand is this $100 figure, but at the same time, still excited for it. It's Dio Stand Zawaldo, or the world, if you if you are not a, a weeb like me. <laughs> this is Dio Stand, comes with, with, them, so, with them, so if you need him to stop time to fight your other collectibles, well, then there you go. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, pretty cool stuff. I think it looks uh, fantastic, and it's not releasing until later on next year. So you have time to save up for it if you so wish. We have uh, we have some di diamond select for figures uh, to talk about. Uh, mostly statues. We have the Marvel Premiere Miles Morales limited edition statue. Huh? Uh, pr 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 pretty cool stuff. It is. And nine inches tall, made out of re uh, resin, and it is a limited edition of three thousand pieces. <laughs> pieces. Uh, so if you, oh, so five though, bro. Chill. Yeah. Uh, but so if so if you, you want this figure, don't, uh, if you think about purchasing purchasing this figure, I'd secure a, pre a pre order. Uh, and uh, if if you don't want to risk um, missing out on it because of the limited quantity. Now, Next up is the Mortal Kombat 11 Gallery Sub-Zero fi um, figure, which is 9 inches tall, uh, made, made of PVC, and is the first gallery diorama in the Mortal Kombat line that Diamond Select will be making. Hmm? Uh -huh, so that's pretty cool. Sub-Zero is the first. Uh, I, it's not Sc Scorpion this time, which kind of surprised me. Next up uh, next up for Diamond Select Toys is a Godzilla v uh, Vitamate Rodan. This is based off the Heisei Rodan from Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2. It is a cutesy little version of Rodan that's being released for 10 bucks from Diamond Select, so that's pretty cool. It's coming out in February 20, uh, 2020, so if you want to pay the 10 bucks, well, hey, there you go. Next up for, for, for Vinimate is Godzilla vs. Desatoya, Vinimate Burning Godzilla, or Godzilla 1995. Uh, obviously car cartoonish, but that, that's to be expected for we'll, Expected, expected with a figure of this style, so not uh, not really a, a big deal. Uh, it, it, it's understandable. I mean, it's something to add to people's collections, you know. Yep. Uh, next up for Diamond Select Toys is <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> I thought I thought I thought it hurt, hurt something. Sorry. Next up, uh, have some feedback there a little bit. Uh, next up for Diamond Select Toys is got the Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla Two Gallery Godzilla figure, and this thing looks. Really damn good. Uh, I think Godzilla could have used a bit more blue because, from what it looks like, they're trying to replicate how he was posed on the Mecha Godzilla Two poster. So, uh, so, so they wanted to to, to uh, uh, authenticate or replicate that. They, they could have given him a lot more blue on uh, or um, uh, uh, around this front and give him a small little atomic breath effect piece. Um, little, little look at um, uh, little look at after criticizing SH Monster Art so much. Uh, you, you, you tend to you tend to, to notice a, a lot of inaccuracies. And the, the it will be eleven inches tall this time, made of PVC, and has a full full color window box, just in case that's your thing. And was sculpted by George uh, by <clears throat> okay, forgive me if I mispronounce this last name, George Santos Sousa. Mm. And, uh, pretty cool, <laughs> good work, man. Nah. Next up for DC Gallery is the is a Robin statue, and I swear he is only being held up by uh, uh, by either his cape or something behind him. Fuck that shit. Yeah, yeah, fuck, <laughs> yeah, fuck that. <laughs> Hell no, nah, that's 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 how you're gonna be displaying it on laying on his back when it breaks off that stand. Uh, uh, um, uh, who's gonna who's gonna be laughing now? That's right. right. Uh, that's right. That's right, Diamond. <laughs> no, yeah, that that is ridiculous. That'll fucking break. Yeah, I know. Also, from how it's how it's sculpted and posed right here, Robin looks like he's shitting himself off. Uh, uh, no, farting himself <laughs> off of the thing. Am I the only one? Am I the only one who sees that? <laughs> he's just taking a dump sideways. That's what's happening. <laughs> I know. I don't look, like. What kind of terrible design is, is this? What kind of terrible picture it? And uh, is, look is at it. Goofy. There's, there's, there's so many things wrong with that. So I'm, I'm 
I'm like, move on. I'm already, I'm already over it. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Moving on from that. Next up from Mezco Toys is the Marvel 112 Collective Magneto Marvel Now Edition, and it is a PX Previews exclusive. Now, don't worry. This isn't a real Mezco exclusive. PX Previews just means it, it's exclusive to comic book bookshops or whatnot. You, you know, it, it doesn't be mean a, and mean anything. You're fine. <laughs> The uh, uh, this figure, what? That looks pretty badass. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh hell yeah. Um, this isn't my favorite version of Magneto, but I cannot deny it. It still looks uh, pr uh, pr pretty damn so solid. Hmm. And uh, like, <laughs> like, 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 if I'm being honest, it it it, 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 it looks it looks. It, lo it looks great, especially you, you know the it, since it's Marvel now, Ma Ma Magneto. I mean, you could argue it looks ju just as good as the as the red as the red and purple Ma Magneto. But there's a special form to Magneto, just being all white and being sl uh, sl uh, sleeveless. Okay, Cape looks like it has the same texture as the Ascending Night Batman, so that's pretty pretty cool. Also comes with the same magnet uh, effects, and yes, they are the magnet effects are are magnetized. So if you want to stick, I don't know, paper clips on them, uh, you could do that. Doesn't come with a lot of accessories though, which I find disappointing. But at the same time, it kind of makes sense. There's not really a whole lot you can actually in include with them. Also, if I'm mistaken, I don't know. Unlike Unlike the cla unlike the classic Magneto red and purple, I do not think that this figure has a posable cape, which I find really, <laughs> which I find really disappointing. I don't know that for sure, but it looks uh, like it. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, I think that is it for fig news. I haven't I haven't discovered <laughs> anything new, and uh, and this week has been a bit slow, unless if there was uh, something I missed. So please uh, tell me about that right now. No, I think it's pretty much been slow. Hmm. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of lean this weekend. Yeah, uh, uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, next week if there are things uh, they have, things might pick up. Uh, thanks to NYCC coming soon, but hey, we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see. When is NYCC? That's like October. Uh, it's the it's the beginning of October. It starts uh, October third. Oh, okay, no, because I, I want to fucking get my hands on those two packs. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Batman of Black Mask two pack. No, no, the the NECA thing. Oh, well, uh, all those. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, that's why. Well, yeah, because I'm assuming they're gonna like what send those like a few days after. The, 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 they are sending. If you pre-ordered the sets on their site, the, the they're gonna ship it after NYCC ends, uh, a week after it ends. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but you you you, you are. Jimmy? What's that? I said, what were you waiting for? Uh, the uh, the NECA two packs, the Green Lantern and the the Batman. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I am I am really st stoked for those, and I am gonna be to at New York Comic Con really early. I don't care how long the line is, but uh, by the time I, I, I get there, just because I wasn't there at three in the morning, I'm gonna get there at, at about like hopefully eight in the morning, two hours before it opens, because. I want to see if I can avoid the long line I had to endure last year at Mezco, because that line, I want to remind everybody, lasted for four hours for me, and I have flat feet. So you can imagine, by the time I get home, my feet were in major pain. <laughs> nah, dude, sick man, I'm okay, so um, inevitable. Quick thing, I wanted to show you guys something with a fig. I'm on a screen share. And uh, what's going on, Gujira in the chat? How's it going? Daniel also says something about some full metal alchemist figures. Full 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 metal uh, alchemist. Yeah. yeah well here. It, I think I saw some right here. What's this? Oh, uh, oh shit. Uh, 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 I, uh, I completely f forgot about about those. Uh my bad per uh, uh, for Daniel. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, full full metal uh, uh, alchemist. I am not familiar with the series at all. I've only heard of it. Uh -huh, and it is releasing. This is the two pack. Full Full Metal Alchemist is there's two brothers right here. Yeah, and they make some kind of deal, 
and he gets like a metal arm, and his younger brother is the suit of armor. Ah. And it's like this magic alchemy, and they can turn things and do shit. It's yeah, you know, it's complicated. Ah, okay. It's got a good, it's got a big fan base, and these are pretty good uh, spot on figures here. By what's this three zero? Two pack. It's a two pack for a one six scale. Two sixty two though, bro. Oof. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, that's pretty ex expensive. That's a healthy price right there. Uh, mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, it looks like he's got a decent amount of accessories going on. And then, yeah, this is this big-ass suit of armor. Yeah. <laughs> they look up, uh, 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 pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's a decent looking figures. I mean, just the price is a but, bit much, but I mean, if you're yeah. if you're a Full Metal Alchemist fan, then shit, you're in business right now. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, the, 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 that face was pretty funny. <laughs> so yeah, you got. Looks like they got a lot of little details and shit going on. So that's cool. Yeah, yeah I mean, three zero does real good work. So. It's definitely a good guy. <laughs> if you want to spend that much, I mean. But I mean, pre I mean, like I said, the, the price is, like I said, kind of, kind of much. But uh, I'm, I mean, okay, individually, you're looking at what one thirty nine for, for for the, the 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 armored figure, and then a buck nineteen for. Uh, that's still. Uh, uh, I listen. I, I, I'm cool with Full Metal Alchemist. I ain't that biggest fan, so this is not for me. But if this is your thing, hey, just didn't have it. Have at the. Uh, have at the. And the what? The Ninorod figure? What are you, what are you talking about? Is... Oh, Nendoroid? No, 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 Nendoroid. What's the Nendoroid? Uh, That's the creepy baby things. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no judgment, people who collect these. There's an audience for them. No, the, uh, the, 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 yeah, there's definitely a, a, a audience for for these. I, I mean, I'm, I, I'm, I'm one, I'm a few uh, uh, of the audience, but I usually collect the make sense figures. If that makes any sense, uh, Kirby and Meta Knight. <laughs> yeah, because those make sense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah and plus, I, I needed those for, for, for the Smash collection. I, you know, like I say, these things are not for me. They, they have a place, I guess, in the sense of, like, you know, sometimes you collect things you ain't got that kind of space. Yeah. So you get the little, you get these little itty bitty things. They, they ain't gonna take up all, all your, all your, all your real estate. Mm -hmm. So you know, that's a thing. Uh, what else? What, what else we got here, man? Uh, what are these statues? Let me see those statues. Uh, any of you acid rain fans? Man, like rain. Taking on. New figures going on. You got the F the Fave A10 Seth Ranger. Acid rain's like I don't like I said, like one of these types of figures that is it's it's very niche, but it's got a following. Yeah, no, they got some good shit. Like, I, I saw some of their, like, Transformers-esque stuff, and they're pretty top-notch, so. Like, the vehicles that turn into robots, like suits of armor or whatever. It's yes, cool. It's like, you know, they, they got some stuff going on. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you know, shout out to, uh, you know, Dan Reborn, because I know he collects a ton of those. Yeah, like, they got these vehicle sets. They got a, they got a whole mess of things going on here. And they seem they're reasonably be priced. They're like they're like about the size of like old school GI Joe figures. Who makes they these? A bit bigger. But they got a whole like they got a whole line. This is and and like I said, they're kind of reasonably priced. So if you wanted to like army build on some of these, you you 
it, it's it's not impossible because it's not that expensive. Yeah. As it rain, if this is a uh, video thing, they got that for you. Let's see what else. What we got else going here? Oh, this is what I wanted to actually show you. This is why I kind of get it. This. Wow. What is this? Uh, it looks like a Hulk. It, yeah, it does. It's got like additional heads that look like Hulks. It's like not, I guess they don't have an official license, I guess. Is this for something for someone for who's, who's a customizer or something? Yeah, I would like to assume so. Because it just it says it comes blank, so you buy it, it's just gonna look like this. Yeah. Who makes them? Uh, this is a uh, Maven Collectibles. No, I haven't heard of them. Looks good though. I mean, it's one twelve, but still, you know, for customizers out there, it's probably like a dream come true. Hey, seventy bucks. So, and it's got some. It's got finger joints. Uh, you know, mo most of the smart or the professor hulks out there, they don't got the best face. So people got <laughs> they got to turn to this. Pro you know what? Probably. Yeah. Yep. Well, this is the I guess the the luck. This is the luxe version. Cause have another one where it's just the bare bones. So it's like, why would you even bother getting this one? For forty four, and all, all it's giving you is the body. Yeah, yeah. Unless, like I said, unless you're doing your own thing, then yeah, you probably can just get the bare bones. But it's got all the different kind of Hulk like head sculpts that you could probably do some shit with. But you know, go figure. I and I just I was just curious about that because I was just like, that's just kind of. Oh yeah, apparently that uh the Mezco Cyclops release. Yeah, 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 yeah I know. Uh, uh, I I'm, uh, I saw that. Yeah. Did you yeah. you uh you going to pick that up? I plan uh, uh, yeah, I plan to. Uh, I just I just uh, don't know when. Yeah, cuz I, I was on board up until that Mayfax version. Yeah. You know, that one looks like the real deal. You know what? I'm kind of right now on the fence on this Omega Supreme, and I'll tell you why. Because I feel like it's going to be another Trypticon. Well, what was wrong with Trypticon? Nothing was wrong with Trypticon, but they, they had so many to the point where now Trypticon sells for like $50. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, he's fucking dirt cheap. Yeah, he's dirt cheap now. Oh, dude, I picked up that Skyfire, though. It's good, right? Yeah, it's fucking good. But this Omega Supreme is like, uh, like I said, I got a really good Omega Supreme. And I really am running low on real estate. Like, and it's like, I feel like I don't like, I think he'll sell well, but I think they'll kind of overshoot. And like, he's going to end up being one of those things that will probably just come out being cheap of later. No, no, you make a good point. I might wait as well with that in mind. And like I said, even if I miss out, it's not like a big loss because again, I got I, yeah. I got a really good Omega Supreme. Yeah. So it's not like it's not like, oh I'm taking the L on this. Like, no, I mean shit, I got my fans towards I got the Cadillac of Omega Supremes over here. I got the newborn. Little baby. So anyways, uh shit ain't nothing really rich. I need to get this three pack of seekers right here. Yeah, I finally saw that at Target. Look pretty cool. Um and I gotta go with Amazon and get the Sky War bomb. Why, why, why I gotta why I gotta hop the places to get things? Can't you just fucking god damn it? I want those like the G one style Optimus and Megatron. Those look cool. Oh, you see the ones they got coming out, like the cell shaded ones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty gonna probably have to buy those again. Yeah, those look cool. Um, yeah, I think that now is it for big news. 
Uh, Patricia's asking, hey guys, when will they release Metroplex on the line? He, he was already... You already have met the, if you didn't get him before, you ain't gonna get him anymore. Yeah, he's long gone. Yeah. By now. Once, 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 the tie, once the Titans dropped, it, it's no re-release. You just gonna have to be lucky to find one in the wild or deal with the deal with the secondary market. Yeah. Is yeah, yeah, you ain't Metroplex. Metroplex was one of the first they dropped. I I'm asked out for Metroplex. Yeah. Like I know that I Devin. Got, I got a Crypticon, I got a Fort, I got a Fort Max, a damn good Devastator. And that's it. I'm I'm more I'm I'm more waiting for a goddamn Scorpionox, to be honest. Oh, that's like yeah. I, I would have rather they did him first instead of Omega. Cause that's like that's just like an you know, a character that is rarely ever visited. All right, we're going to expand on fig news. So fig news doesn't also necessarily have to be about figures in general. It can be news. Uh, so recently, the whole um, the Unicron from the HasLab, it's still ongoing. I think they extended it again. Yeah. Really trying to get people to back this. Now, we had got notice that Zeta Toys was gonna jump, throw their name in a hat for a Unicron, a little lesser scale, but def definitely a contender. Apparently, uh, Hasbro, Hasbro shut, shut it down. down. Shut them down. Shut them down. And I'm, I'm very disappointed in that because I was gonna buy that shit. Like I said, if it was any cheaper than the Unicron, the Haslabs, I was gonna buy that. And I'm just like, Fuck it, has bro. You, you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> well, what, what do you guys feel about that? I mean, I'm, I'm like, I, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little taken back by it because I'm just like, oh, come on, bro. I mean, I'm pissed off just because Zeta has been doing Transformers for like fucking years now. They never shut anything down, and now suddenly they're like, oh shit, our unicorn man. Yeah, but see, I think I, I definitely, and, and I'm speculating, but it's it's almost like, come on, like they knew, they knew Zeta was going to undercut them, and they knew people were going to buy that, because like I said, this is now their second extension for Unicron. Like I don't think it's even there yet. I think it's still got it. It, it still got some ways to go before it gets to the goal they've been looking for. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that his will happen. Because let's be real, Zeta's already got that thing built. Yeah. Okay, we've already seen the prototype. That, that, that sucker's built. They're going to see if Hasbro can get this out first. Now, if Hasbro can get this out and, and Hasbro gets their money, then they can maybe come in later on and drop it because they already have it. Yeah. And, and they know not everybody went in on the Unicron, especially at the price they're asking for. Like, I mean, the, 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 the buy-in for... The HasLab is five and almost six hundred, and to buy it off of like Big Bad or uh, TF, they're almost talking about eight hundred. A lot of money. Like I said, Zeta. I said, listen, if Zeta comes three hundred, I'll be like, take my money. <laughs> See, the thing I'm worried about is let's like hypothetically say the HasLab Unicron doesn't get funded and they shut it down. Zeta still wouldn't be allowed to release it because legally now they can't. So we're fucked but either way. How 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 did they get them? Because this is literally what third parties do. Just rename it. That's all they've ever been done is they rename it and just don't put an insignia on it. Yeah. And like like this is fans toys sovereign. <laughs> you know who this is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I ain't got to tell you, but this is Fans Toy Sovereign. So how how did how is that not a thing? How is that not possible? Hey, just call it. 
Like, I, I'm pretty sure they weren't going to call it Unicron. Nah. So how, how did Hasbro manage the, everything else, everything else for the past, what, two plus years that I've been third party collecting to slip through, somehow flip through the crack. And this one is like, hold on, what you doing there? You still an IP. Nah. Like, shit. That's why there's like about two other cartoon accurate primes out right now, right? Right? Yeah. No, nah, like they, they put their foot down because they know that Unicron, that's, well, they're assuming that's going to be like their bread and butter, but I don't know how they did it. I really don't. No, but it's the thing of like, I don't even know why. Why now? Why now get to that part where you're now going to put your foot down on some, on some intellectual property shit when the market is flooded with Transformers that ain't under your brand? Well, they probably felt like attacked because their crowdfund is like underwhelming. Yeah, because it's so expensive. Yeah. So what were they expecting? They need to shut that shit you, down. You couldn't even crowdfund a Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster got canceled. Aw, damn it. <laughs> so maybe, like I said, maybe, maybe if you wouldn't like, I get it. You know, you put a lot of work into it, but even the work you put into it is still not the asking price that you're looking for. Okay, you're 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 two inches taller than a than a fucking metroplex, and you're you're a literal shell former. You got yeah. more kibbles than, than fucking bits. They're trying to get the people who like fools out there thinking, oh shit, well Zeta ain't doing it. Well, I guess I have no choice. We'll fucking fund this guy. So, in wait. fact, if you look at it. Your shit went up when the Zeta came out. So because it's not a, now there's going to be a reason for people to want to compare. For those who do have that kind of scratch to drop and buy this one and that one. Because trust me, they will. If, if, if this one came out, there's going to be people out there with both of those motherfuckers to make a comparison. Yeah. You just, and, and, and you're trying to be petty with shit. Like, you would have got it anyway. Uh-huh. But it's it's dumb. Like, it's dumb. It's well, hopefully, hopefully a silver lining will come in, and somehow this Unicron will see this not Unicron will see the light of day. No, no. I, I can't. I can't afford. I can't afford. Like, and it's not like I'm sitting there going, "Oh, I don't want the. I wouldn't like the the Haslabs Unicron." No, sure, I would love it, but I can't afford that. That's the problem. Can't afford that. Mm-hmm. You're asking a little bit too much of a person. It, it, bad enough, I don't have the real estate for this. Exactly. Let alone the money. <laughs> so, same here. Like, uh, like if I wanted to get that Unicron, where the hell am I go- <laughs> going to put it? Uh, am I going to put it on the floor of my room? Of course not. <laughs> but, I don't but, think I have a shelf big enough to hold this. It goes in your bed, Vinny. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> if you that money, you might as well cuddle up with him because there's only love you go and get if you spend all that money. There's no other place I, I could put it. Now, a $500 figure arts Hulkbuster, yeah, I could do that. A, a, a almost $1,000 tra- Transformers toy. Nah, dude, that, on my end, that space was taken up by my Hulkbuster. <laughs> so. like, like I said, it's just. It's 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 a lot. Like I said, for those who have that money, yeah, they, they they God bless them. But we we don't all have that money. No, we don't. Because if that was the case, I, I'd have put I'd have put in on it too. But I don't, so I can't. But it's just like to sit there and like I said, it just it just like shows some pettiness. Because like, why now? And that's the case, then you might as well put the kibosh on every other third party figure that's out there. Exactly. You, 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 look. It's, all, it's all still in Transformer IP. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Like, like I, I didn't see, see them be this petty when when Magic Square was releasing their version of, of Optimus Prime. I don't see them be, being petty yeah, with Prime. Prime so is the third cheaper. Yeah. Like you can literally buy two Magic Square Primes and still have change of the price of this MP44. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, did, did you end up picking up the Magic Square? Uh, Maybe- no, I'm actually going to pick up the other one because they they actually replaced the uh, all the head. They got another head sculpt that's more 
like the um, like the MP44 head. The uh, the, the Dilly uh, Magic Square, uh, pr pr well, I know it's not called Prime from them, but you know I'm gonna call it Prime. The, the Magic Square Prime I do uh, want to get, but they sold out of the regular version, so they only have the metallic version. So I may end up uh, picking that uh, that up. Where are you looking at? Because there there are other sites you could find it at. Uh, I, uh, I was a, I was a, mainly uh, I was mainly looking at TF Source. They were sold they were sold out uh, of the regular version of the Magic Square. Try TF Direct. Okay, let me see TF Direct. Because mm. they might have it too. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm checking right now. We will take this moment of silence to pray for Zeta. Uh, pray, pray, pray for Rosetta, everybody. I just think it's a crappy move to pull. Like it, 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 it's it's legit a crappy move to pull. Yeah. All right, I'm on the TF Direct. Yeah, they don't have it either. All they have is a uh, a dim down, darker version. Which one are you looking for? Uh, it might be on this. That's. <laughs> No, that's the Legends version. Never mind. That's uh, uh, I know. Yeah, this is the big one. But it's kind of a, almost like a dead optimist. Wait, what? That, like black and white? It not. It's not totally black and white, but it's a very, the color's very faded on them. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll screen share. Hold on. Uh, okay, that looks cool. Yeah, it's cool, but it's just if you don't, this is gonna be a faded, a faded prime now. Yeah. So yeah, and then this one, I don't know which one is this one. This is a oh shattered glass. Yeah, but I think this is a legend size though. Oh. Uh. Magic Square does legends. Uh, there is, like I said, the other prime is good. I think it's called um, the transform element. Let's see. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. I've seen that one, the elements one. Yeah, it's because, you know, fucking that MP44 has got the knee problems now. Yeah. Yeah, so, okay. This is the transform element. Which, like, don't mind don't mind the head scope, because, like I said, they, they replaced the head scope with one that was more... more kind of in the G1 side of things. And it's only a buck twenty-five. Like, come on, bro. And how much is forty-four? That's like fuck four fifty, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's almost as much as a fucking unicorn. Goddamn. Yeah, it's it's except it's it's ridiculous, bro. It's it's it's, it's completely ridiculous that they're gonna go out there and do that. And it's like, come on, man. Yeah. Well, they're making bank though, apparently. So. A lot of people got the MP44. Their fucking knees are broken. <laughs> Not broken. They're just weak, I guess. Now, if you get it from TF Source, it's a little bit more. But uh, I think TF Source, TF Direct's from, I think it's in Japan, so it might take longer on the shipping. Yeah. But yeah, like the head sculpt on this, this first version is weak. But they got a new head. It even says two different heads included, so you good. That's a good looking prime. I mean, yeah, he, he's a lot less. Yeah, a lot less it was a different head scope, which they they rectified because it, like I said, clearly this one's kind of weak. Yeah, yeah. And so compared to like MP44 head, and boom, you in business. Don't want to get you a repro label, and you good. So again, here we have. You're coming out with a cartoon accurate looking prime here is a competition 
I didn't see you squash this guy out, and he's undercutting the fuck out of you. You know, like, I took a look at some reviews on MP44. I think they went, like, they went crazy with engineering. Like, the transformation looks really complex. I don't know. Like, yeah, this one there's, less there's a lot going on with it. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot going on. And I don't I don't know why exactly. Like, I get why they did that with Megatron. That's one thing. But Optimus can be pretty simple, like this one. I think I'm kind of going to buy this right here. This uh, yes. this fucking throne. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of cool, actually. No, no, uh, all that, uh, all that uh, throne uh, is made for, is made for the, the masterpiece uh, Megatron. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, but uh, by the way, I searched on TF Duet. Uh, they did not have the the, the Magic Square on Prime uh, at all. Well, well, at least the the, the masterpiece scaled version. Yeah, I mean the the Magic Square one's pretty popular, but it, it I'm pretty sure that you got you just gotta kind of look around. There's other places like this Chosen Prime, yeah, yeah, uh, Toy Dojo. Just look around, you'll you'll find it. Sure, because because I I, I sure as hell am not so, 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 so supporting the the MP for forty four four Prime. For, fuck that shit. <laughs> I can't even get conscious pay that kind of money, bro. Uh, well, like said, and it, it is like, I get it. It 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 upscaled what MP10 used was, but I mean, this why? Because all the for all the accessories, okay, then uh, then do me a solid. Cut that. Give me a a lesser version. Yeah. I don't need the spike in the in the in the spark plug in the little Carly figures. Scrap them. Um, I don't need all the 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 axe. The I don't need the jet pack. I don't need the star screen head and accessories. I, give me the alternate head, the battle damage parts, and his energy axe and gun and 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 roller and the shit that goes in the trailer, and that's it. Or better yet, don't even give me the trailer. Just give me the truck and just, just have it linked back up with your MP10. Yeah, I, I'd do that. I, I'd go without the trailer too, if that was a thing. Yeah, like even I, I would have said option. Just give me the give me the figure with the head sculpts and no trailer. Because personally, if I was gonna buy this, he would be the figure, and the original MP10 would go back into vehicle mode. So I don't need another extra trailer that's just gonna take up more goddamn real estate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And cut that shit in and cut that price in half. Fucking MP10 with everything included was two fifty. Drop this motherfucker to like two twenty five. Stop playing. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I can do two twenty five, two fifty. Yeah, but... Like I said, give me, give me the gun, give me the axe, give me the head sculpts with the battle damage, and call it a day. That way, he can match it up with Megatron. All the other shit, all the little like this right here. All this is not necessary. You know, the only parts, like I said, head sculpt. Scratch the star screen. We don't need that. Give me the battle damage piece to go with the head sculpt and his gun and his axe. If he says we're not getting a trailer, scrap the hose, scrap wheeler, scrap the jetpack, scrap all that, scrap the trailer, and just give me the figure. You know what I'm saying? Get get rid of all that. We don't need all that. That, that this is too much because half of that you're not even gonna use anyway. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to use anyway. The only good thing with the with the trailer is you get you can use the piece as a flight stand. But again, who's really who's really displaying Prime like that? Not many, I doubt. No. But all this extra, if if, if all this extra is what garnishes a four fifty price tag, then cut cut that shit out and just give me a bare bones Prime. Give me a bare bones prime. Like I said, head, head scope. That's it. Head scope, gun, axe, damage piece. That's it. All other, the stars, all that. Scrap it. 
trailer, grab it. Bare Bones Prime, 225, bro. I'll buy it right now. <sighs> buy that shit right now. <sighs> but I'm not I'm not gonna pay four fifty for another for another truck. I already have a problem with a trailer. Don't need it. Shit, and I got a pro I got a I got a bro, I got a gold prime without a trailer. <laughs> Another prime with a trailer. I got I got a prime uh yeah the goat prime. Yeah, I got that one too. Got a trailer. I don't need any more primes with trailers. Yeah, I get the chatter glass one as well. So you know what I'm saying there's enough I got enough real estate going on with primes that I don't need another one with a trailer. Give me this. Like if they'd have just released this bare bones, like I don't think anybody would have been upset because like I said, nine out of ten people probably already have a prime with a goddamn trailer. Who's this? Uh, SP Giro fan. Let me see. He's sending out. Hey, Vinny. I was wondering one day if you wanted to do... Fans of SHMA, like, a.k.a. what's happening to SHMA. I would love to join the video help you out. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, what were they doing, doing now? Uh, uh, okay, Um, thing is... I know SH Monsters. The, the, what's happening to the SH Monsters line part three is highly demanded to me, which you know I, I'm flattered by that. <laughs> Thank you for joining the series, and I will do part three. I just want to be caught up on Monster Arts first because I don't have King Goji, I don't have Godzilla Earth, and I want to wait until I can get those figures at least. And Best best place to do it is uh is if I could pick them up at New York Comic Con, so so you're gonna have to wait until later. And plus, the more figures that are getting released, the more I have to uh, to update the script. So so that's also a pro a problem I, I have been encountering. <laughs> oh, so, so so you know, just just be patient. I'll be sure to update everybody as as soon as, soon as I can uh, with Monster Arts Part Three. That's what's up. Oh, yeah. by the way, for you guys out there who have started collecting the Stunticons from Fans Toys, the Motor Master's already been out. Here's their next offering from Fans Toys just dropped. I thought that was Mirage for a second. This is Breakdown. Well, not there's a spoiler. They're not Breakdown. <laughs> but as you can see here, here's how it scales with some masterpieces. That's Willis. They're not Hound. Just make sure we remember that. This is their, this is not Hound. Look like Hound. Not Hound. Just just so you know we clear on that. Not Hound. Look like Hound. Not Hound. Well, yeah, this looks good. Like I said, I'm still waiting to see what it looks like in combined form before. I make a decision because there's a couple other uh, combiners coming out as well. So, all right, let's get the top ten. I don't know how we ended up here though, but yeah, yeah. Uh, we uh we, we talked about Unicron and, and oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. We, gotta, we gotta got off a little bit uh yeah uh so, so we apologize about about that folks but 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 now we can uh, get back on topic. I'll be patient. Just take your time. Don't rush. Thank you. No, 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 no. That means a lot. Thank you. All right. So let's uh, jump to this top 10. All right. Casbro's still pushing the, the Unicron. Hey, did you notice that? Um, what's it called? I think BBTS is re-releasing an old Marvel Universe Sentinel with Wolverine. Have you seen I, that? I have not seen it. The Wolverine looks like shit, but the Sentinel is... Ah. Oh, that one. Uh, 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 I didn't... Uh, I, uh, I didn't... For some reason, didn't... Uh, I I I uh, 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 did not see see that. <laughs> the, the, back in stock, I didn't know. So, but, uh, but, uh, but but that but that's uh, uh, um, Sentinel looks uh, looks uh, per, looks pretty damn good. Sentinel looks good. Like I said, the Wolverine looks like shit. That's a crap ass Wolverine right there. Yeah. 
right, well, moving on, we are going to jump in to our top 10, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-huh, and, uh, and this is a top 10 I can't, I, I can't wait to, to uh, talk about. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, this one I, I figured would be a good jumping off. Like, this, especially with the whole MCU situation, uh, you know, I like to say, you know, Spider Man has had a lot of different incarnations and suits. So it's like, what, what's the best one? So we, now we, that's what we're doing here. So we got some write ins as always, because you, know, you guys are awesome out there. Always coming in the clutch. What's this? Uh, I would love to have a masterpiece star screen. Well, not the one that. Actually, if you want a good star screen, I would recommend the Make Toys not star screen. He's called Meteor. Mwah. Fucking, he's even cartoon accurate and trans. Trust me, as someone who has a masterpiece star screen, he he's he's not what he's cracked up to be. But the Make Toys not star screen, highly recommend it. Coming in, we got one from our boy Matt Jacobson. We have. Negative Spider Man suits. I'm not that crazy about this suit. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't game, really but... hit for me. I can see where it, I think it has its advantages with the powers of the negative, but eh, it's still not. I, I ain't digging this suit that much. But it's the same, so. That's yeah. Cool. Next, we have the Antioch suit. Now, this one is this one an original from the game, right? Yeah, yes. This, this is the original original suit from the PS4 game. It's not bad, actually. Nah, no, dude, it looks cool. Yeah, yeah, it looks cool. Basically, how the suit came to be um, during the uh, spoilers. Uh, uh, sorry, folks. Um, be, before the final battle uh, uh, against uh, Doctor Octopus. So Spider-Man creates a brand new suit to, to, to counteract uh, uh, to see if he can counteract you know Doc Ock's mechanical arms. Uh, for for doesn't really make much of a difference since he can replay the new game plus with a different suit. So this suit, you know, with, with the new ability, it's nothing special, but it does look uh, really cool. The, this picture does not do do it justice. It, it looks really cool in in the game. Uh, the, the 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 yellow parts uh, of the suit actually do glow. Yeah. Plus, I love the eye lenses because it looks. It kind of reminds me of the Sam Raimi so Spider Man a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's kind of got that going for yeah, it. But. Yeah, but but anyway, yeah, that that that's how the suit uh, came to be. <laughs> well, it looks good. I mean, I voted for it. I thought it was a good suit. Yeah. Moving on, we have everyone's favorite Spider Gout, aka Spider Man UK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean it's a cool. It's it's, it's a decent Spider Man suit. Like it's basic. It's you know it's if what Spider Man would look like if he was in the UK, and it's kind of got a mixture of a Union Jack on it, and it's it's definitely going the color scheme of you know the the flag. So hey, it looks good. I, I dig it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not mad at the suit. Yeah. Next, we have another write-in. Also, oh yeah, that Ock one was also from uh, Matt Jacobson, and here's another one. It's the fear itself. I don't mind this suit if it didn't have those goofy ass looking like gauntlets on his wrist. Yeah, you not. Yeah, I have to agree with Smith. That's also what ruins the suit for me. Those gauntlets. Yeah, the, the, the yeah. Um, I, maybe if they were on a more mechanical looking Spider-Man suit, the, it, it would be more fitting and look a bit more cool. But on this one, it looks a bit goofy. Mm-hmm. I, I like the uh, I like the rest of the suit, the color, and then the way it just kind of it seems kind of almost like a one. It could be a stealth type suit, but then like like I said, those wrist gauntlets just uh, it just like I think it's just a little too much. <laughs> yeah, it, it really does not work here. So yeah. All right, moving on, we've got Spider-Punk, which is one I've become a new fan of. I just like the Spider-Punk look. Yeah. The little denim vest and 
usually rocking a little axe and the the whole the whole getup is just is just a, is just a nice look. Now we didn't get a full body, so you don't see the Chuck Taylors on. But like I said, it's 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 a badass Spider Punk. So there you go, right there. The shout out whoever took these photos. I picked these photos because I just thought these the photos of these Spider Men just look really cool. So I don't know who took them, but you know, shout out to whoever give you credit because a lot of the photos in this countdown are, I think, from the same person. And they just yeah, pretty badass. The the spider punk ability in the game was OP. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my god, very yeah, it was uh, one of the most OP ab abilities. Basically, yeah. basically his uh his, his ability is the uh, guitar. Once your meter is full, you can use the guitar, and it sends out a shock wave that pushes a a, a horde of enemies back if, if you're being surrounded, and yeah. will sometimes uh, the, the defeat them uh, in certain situations. Yeah, you gotta use that shit when you're on rooftops. Hell, hell yeah. <laughs> All right, next we have another one from our boy Matt, and it is Superior Spider-Man. Again, I like I like the Superior Spider-Man look. I thought it was a good. It, it wasn't it wasn't too far off from regular Spider-Man. It was just a more darker tone, and then the addition of the the extra legs because it was you know Otto Octavius you know in Spider-Man's body, so it just kind of gave it a little extra, but. I, I like that look. I thought it was decent. I think this picture doesn't represent it that well, but it, it's a good suit, though. Yeah. Superior Spider-Man had a good look. I like the look. In fact, I found it better than the look that came after it. I, I wasn't that crazy about the one that kind of had, like, the neon spider on it. Eh, I was not really a fan of that. Yeah. Next, we have Big Time. This is one I like, too. Like I said, whoever took these photos, like, these are fucking, fucking badass, bro. Oh, hell yeah. The, the Big Time Spider-Man is basically <clears throat> uh, kind of kind of like a stealth version of Spider-Man. Um, the, the, the green parts of his suit uh, do, uh, do light up uh, and glow a little bit in the dark, so... Uh, which is pretty cool, but I just like the overall the the, the uh, this design of it. It ha has a very um, unique touch that you don't really see on much uh, Spider-Man suits. They're waiting for my big time to show up. Got it on pre-order. Waiting at GameStop. <laughs> <laughs> get, that, get that reissue. Nice. All right, moving on. We've got the original Iron Spider. Armored Spider-Man. Armored Spider-Man. The boy, the memories I had using this in the Spider-Man PS1 game. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, oh, that game was so good. I know, right? The, the, that was a classic. They locked all the costumes, and it had the paper bag Spider-Man. It, yeah, it, it, it had pretty much all the suits at that time that Spider-Man yeah. had. It was, it, was it, it, was it was really cool. <laughs> and yeah, Armored like Armor Spider Man was definitely a cool suit. It wasn't that functional, but it looked good. Yeah. The the way this armor came to be, just in case anyone's curious, uh, Spider Man designed the, this armor to, uh, to to be bulletproof, which it did the job. Uh, but unfortunately, it was more bulky, so it wasn't as agile or as fast uh, as he normally is in his classic costume. Uh, yeah. Later, later the armor was ditched for uh, for you know future armors, Mark II, etc. But yeah, the, that's how this suit came to be, and. You can't beat the classics. This suit looks uh, pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, uh, especially back in the 90s, it worked. Oh, yeah. Next, we have Raimi Spider-Man. Raimi, hey, at the time, Raimi Spider-Man was fucking, it was the end-all, be-all for a while. Hell, yeah. It was... It, it, at the time, it was it was known as the perfect movie uh, Spider Man look. It, it, it was. I mean, I mean, we saw what you could do now because they do the whole eyeball effect, so it gives it more of that comic book feel. Yeah. But yeah, even like with not having the animated eyes on Spider Man, it still was like, bro, this was this was the best you could get at the time. Like this, 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 this was this, this was the benchmark for for a very long time. Hell, hell yeah! The 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 the, the memories of with this uh, Spider-Man suit, uh, uh, good ones. 
Definitely. Oh, this is also a write in from uh, our very own Patriot Prime. And uh, so thank you very much. Next, we have one that has is a is a very new suit, but catching a lot of popularity lately, and that is the PS4 Spider Man suit. Uh, the, uh, the the advanced suit, I think, is now. I was indifferent to the suit at first when I first saw it in the first game trailer, but the more I saw it, and when I finally played the game, definitely grew on me and definitely became one of my favorite Spider Man suits because it has a classic feel to it. But at the same time, it also gives it a more modern feel. To remind you, he's this is still, you know, a really cool looking Spider Man, and he and he has aged and grown over the past um, eight years in the game, and the the. They deviated from the usual black spider logo look. It just gave him a white spider, which I think for, which I think fits Spider Man more than I originally thought. The, it, it looks, it looks, you know, it works. yeah, yeah, it, it works. That, that's just that, that's just it. It, it. it just works. Also, it has also the, the lenses are mechanical, so it gives it more of a comic book book feel, which is cool. Yeah. Like, like, there's a reason that this suit is, is catching a lot of pop popularity right now. Yeah, it's it's it's. I, I'm I'm surprised they haven't like tried to throw it in the comics yet. Yeah, they they, they actually did. Oh, they did already. Yeah, the the, the, the this version of Spider Man has already appeared in, in a few comics. Well, I'll be down. See, I need to catch up on my reading. Yep. All right, moving on. I'm I'm more captivated right now. What's what's going on with the X Men right now? Huh? But mm-hmm. uh, House of X and House of Ten. Wow. Because they got they, the, the the mutants. The mutants is shaking shit up right now. Oh yeah. And Apocalypse has joined them. <laughs> Which is a, a, a surprising. Uh yeah, but it, it, it's it's kind of for a good reason. Like like yeah. right now the mutants have set it up where. They they have their own sovereign nation. Not like not like Genosha is. This is a different thing. They they got and they they, they let the humans know like we're not playing ball no more. Oh yeah. And like I said, now that you're sitting there saying you're not playing ball no more, and yep. you got Apocalypse on your side, the only threat they got right now is the Nimrod. So, yeah. but moving on. We've got the new armored Spider-Man, the Iron Spider-Man. Now, uh, you in the Civil, the original Civil War. Yes, the, uh, the, this is the comic Iron Sp- Spider suit, and it, it is one of the more uh, popular suits from uh, from the Civil War story. But but it has made its way in a few comic stories, uh, um, uh, at least as far as my my knowledge goes. I could be completely wrong in that. It has three armored uh, spider legs, which. Is definitely cool. It gives Spider Man more of a spidery uh, feel to um, uh, to it. He, he he can walk on them if he wanted to. He he, he could use them to uh, to the, like claw on the claw on the floors if he's pulling on, on something, which was showcased um, um the, in the Civil War comics and also uh, the Infinity War. But stop me right there. Bro. What? Right there. Pause. Now I had the option to drop the movie version Iron Spider. But to me, there's only one definitive Iron Spider. I wish, I mean, I, I, I don't have, like, this, I don't think there's really nothing that wrong with the movie version Iron Spider, but I think you could have did this Iron Spider would have been better. The, the, there was, uh, you, you know, Smith, interesting you said that. There was a co- concept art of a more comic version of Iron Spider shown off uh in home co- uh, coming, it was concept art, and it didn't make it to the final, final movies. And p- people say uh, it looks a bit better, so, so I can definitely see see what you mean. But, 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 yeah, if this would have came out, it'd have been so much better. Like like I said, I the new suit, I get it. You want to sell toys, but I I would have think you would have sold more toys if you did. Like, cause have have they made Marvel Legends Iron Spider like this one yet? The, uh, they have a, f- I think it, it, it was years ago, but, but I do know that that, that they have. But the, okay. but the has been. They were due for a, a, a update then. The, we are definitely due for for an uh, update. Like we're, we're overdue. <laughs> so it was like I would say like they should have put this one in the movie. Like I mean like this is the like when when we heard about they was going to do an Iron Spider. I I picture this, but when we got what we got, I was just like uh. 
like, okay, I, you, you still added all the elements with the extra arms and all that, and that's great. But it's like, why couldn't you just make it look like this? Especially if Tony Stark gave it to you. Yeah. This yeah. is the reason why it looks like an Iron Man suit, because Tony Stark gave it to you. He wouldn't make you an Iron Man suit and make it look like Spider-Man. He made it look like Iron Man. Yeah, red and gold. I Iron Man. love it. Mm -hmm. Tony gave it to him. It would have made more sense in the movie. Tony gave you an Iron, an Iron Spider suit that looked like Iron Man. Mm -hmm. So then you can go back later on and be like, I want to look like Spider-Man. But anyway, we're, I'm getting off on a tangent. <laughs> Let's move on. Next, we have one of my personal favorites, and that uh, is the Scarlet Spider, or Ben uh, Riley, or Peter Parker. Well, who knows? The Clone Saga was fucked up. I know the the, the 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 Clone Saga got got really fucked up, but nonetheless, this suit is really cool. Yes, it's screams nineties. A lot of belts, a lot of wristbands, pockets. Hoodies. Yeah. It's, it's all about the '90s, but I still like. I still like this look. I heard no, 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 no. Like I, I, I still love this look as well. It, it just it works See, even in, in modern days. Like it, it's a, cl it's one of the major classic Spider-Man suits for um for, for a reason. Yeah, it's uh, it's a bit a uh, simplistic, you know, sweatshirt uh, with a hoodie, turn up sleeves, and a red uh, spandex suit. But it just works for, especially at the time it it came out. Like the new Scarlet Spider, they have. I'm not the suit's okay, but I still prefer just the way they got a new 2099. I prefer the older versions better. Yeah, but maybe it's because that's a product of my of my time. Hold on one second. What's going on, Derek? Hey, Derek. Ooh. What's up? What up? We're still doing some top 10. Looking at some ultimate Spider Man yeah. costumes. All right, Drew is late. We've Sorry, got... I'm late. When you, uh, I went to Universal and had to actually go chill with Spider Man. So you know, you know the deal. You know the deal. No. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to Universal. And next, definitely yeah. one of my favorites, and that is Spider Man 2099. Like, it just looks badass. Yeah. It looks like a love of the future. Uh, hell, uh, uh, hell yeah, definitely looks like Spider Man of the future, and what definitely one of the more grim Spider Man. And this suit ca it captures that personality uh, per, uh, per, uh, per perfectly. He looks like a Spider Man you definitely don't want want to mess with. But but whoever took these photos, like who told? Like I don't know, is this from the game or somebody? Yeah. Yes, this, yes, this is from, 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 from the game. You sure? Uh, uh, I'm positive. Uh, the, 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 I recognize the the minor de details. This is de de these are definitely pictures from the Spider-Man PS4 game. Yeah, they look like some yeah. actually took these photos. Uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, I know it. It, it, lo it looks a little like that too, but um, uh, but that's just because people have master photography skills within the game itself. <laughs> oh, again, kudos. Oh. Uh, and moving on, and this is like okay, when the countdown got a little bit because for a while it was he was ahead of the twenty ninety nine was like the head, but he just got beat out by the classic Spider Man. No, no, no. Now, what can we really say uh, uh, about, about this suit in particular? It's the way we all know so, uh, Spider Man. When we think of Spider Man, this this suit is what immediately uh, comes to mind. Yes. Classic. Yes. Yeah, it's it's your basic Spider Man suit. It's 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 the it's the it's the default. Uh, yeah, uh, pr pretty much. So you can't Literally, get, probably one of the most yeah. perfect suits you'll ever get. Yeah. yeah. The only way you can make this suit better, and of course, it is our number one pick, is if you make it black. <laughs> the symbiote Spider Man or black suit Spider Man. Black suit, symbiote, whatever you want to call it. You put it in black and it fucking this 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 one killed the countdown. There was no dispute and everybody voted for this. This was yeah, like hands down. And what and, and you can't blame them. Like it's just it is classic. It's classic. Exactly. It just, 
that that black with the with the with the white big spider across it and just man come on it, <laughs> it's a yeah. take on a simple costume just make it black <laughs> <laughs> we gotta change spider-man's suit what do we do stan lee just make it black <laughs> Uh, well, well, actually, well, actually, blah, blah, the, the, the idea of a black suit so Spider Man and Venom was actually a, t a an idea I came up with a fan and Marvel bought it for, for 200. <laughs> oh. I said it's my idea, make it black. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, sir, Mr. Stanley, it's your idea. We, we, my we, idea, screw that jabroni. Who, who, nobody knows him. <laughs> well, yeah. make it black black. Suit Spider Man, definitely. Uh, Number one, uh, I was thinking I was gonna do at first alternate superhero costumes, but I was like, you know what, Spider Man's got so much depth and variety, just you know, give him his own countdown. Yeah, and that will do it for the top 10. Yeah, uh, this makes me want uh, to see this show where, like I said, we're gonna have a little discussion, Derek. I'm glad you joined us when you did, because I definitely would like some of your feedback on this. We kind of talked yes, about this before we went on the air today. Oh, wait, real quick. Anybody got a pickup? I don't got anything. Anybody? Yeah. Um, I picked up Goldar. That's pretty much it. I saw that today at GameStop, and I was like, uh, it looks good, but I'm like, I'm I'm not about to jump into the Power Ranger whale. So. <laughs> <sighs> It's a dry week, so I'm I'm, I'm, dry. I'm not gonna see nothing until like New York Comic Con. <laughs> I will be who I will be at, at, at New York Comic Con. <laughs> uh, true. Yeah. I don't one pop I need, so I'll be all right. <laughs> okay. Um, I, wait, wait. What happened? Oh, <laughs> feedback. Okay. Uh, I got uh one for figure uh the earlier uh this week well, in the mail. It is the S H Big Arts upgrade suit uh Spider Man from Spider Man Far From Home. Sweet. Yeah, no, the, definitely one of the best Spider-Man looking figures. Fixed pretty much most of the problems with uh, the Homecoming version. Uh, the the suit is smooth. The, the, the there's no bump bumpy texture on the red. Uh, the, uh, the 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 neck is is, is no, it, it's on a giraffe. So I appreciate that. And the uh, uh, how, well, there's one thing interesting about this figure. Who, who wants to know what it is? The, uh. the, the, this figure. The, the the Iron Spider figure arts and Homecoming figure arts usually has the double ball pegged head necks. This one has a ball hinge, l l l like a, a Marvel Legend, hmm. which I kind of don't like. It, uh, it kind of makes it d difficult to um, to the, the, the pose to pose it. Uh, um, it might kind of makes it difficult to make it look uh, right and not so bumpy in certain po uh, poses. You can't, get, you can't get sideways dog head with that, can you? Uh, no, you can't. I, I don't know what the hell you're you talking about. <laughs> he broke his neck. <laughs> <laughs> I killed Spider Man. No. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, but Daniel wanted to know about if anybody went to, was going to go see Rambo Five. Um, nah. I thought you left. I tuned out a while ago. I'm not going to go see it. <laughs> yeah, I, I I've tapped out of Rambo a long time ago. Okay, Rambo Rambo's a little bit me me and almost about the same thing. Like, if I want to go see Rambo, I go back and watch the old movies, and that's a Oh, wait, so, like a I, I, I'm really kind of questioning why the Rambo 5 right now. They, they, they spent money to go make that when they could have tried to go make like new IP or something that would have been good. That, that would be nice. Okay, I guess we can now we can get to the, the is, uh, you got anything else, Vinny, or was that it? <laughs> uh, the, uh, that was it. <laughs> All right, well, okay, so the discussion was this. Uh, I don't know if anyone else watches any of the CW shows, the like the Arrowverse, Flash, you know, Legends, fucking Black Lightning, um, what else I got? Supergirl. They're having their Crisis on Infinite Earths coming this season. 
Now, I was saying off the air, uh, like, how is it that the TV show, DC Universe, can do a better job with a lesser budget than the goddamn movies? How? <laughs> how that possible? How How is it your TV show? Which, I mean, seriously, this is not groundbreaking stuff. This, like, it's a mixture of, like, Dawson's Creek with comic books. Like they put sappy love stories in it. They got nothing but good looking people and they mixed it with superheroes and somehow it works. And they have established a multiverse and done all this on, like I said, a TV budget. And we can't even get Superman's lips right. <laughs> Well, all right, so with the um, the DCEU had no, like, end goal vision, which is why you, you saw, yeah, like, back in the, back when they tried to start, they was, they were trying to compete with Marvel for what they were trying to do, but they didn't have anybody trying to, like, point them in a direction that they wanted to go, like Marvel has Feige. So for the DCEU to even try and do that without even having a producer that, that can keep everybody for each movie still going towards the next thing or the final thing. That's why that flops. And I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure what's up with the CW. That honestly, like, but see, that's the thing with the CW. Like that. You have clearly there's people at the CW that have a vision because like I said, I watched, I watched the flash. I've been watching flash since season one. I think they're now on season five or six go, coming up and they have managed to make a continuity where they've established the multiverse. They have had crossovers between all of their little CW shows have crossed over, where they've had major events, like, like Avengers type of shit on a TV scale. And it's better than the fucking Justice League. And like I said, now they're doing a crisis on Infinite Earths and they got like five Supermen. They're bringing Tom Beef Welling back. They're bringing uh, Brandon Ralph. They, they've already got a Superman from their Supergirl and then some other Superman, plus Tim, plus Kevin Conroy and God knows who else. Like they, they're, they're, they're continuing Smallville and a whole other shit. They got a whole universe on a shoestring, on a network TV budget and somehow a major motion picture studio. Same studio. Same company, and you can't get your movie right, but your TV is killing it. For, ah. for, for, for some goddamn reason. How? The only saving grace you have is Gal Gadot. <laughs> How? And maybe Momoa. Yeah, what like happened, man. I mean, you can you can throw Shazam in there, but anyway, like. Yeah, but uh, I mean, was Shazam really was it really burning it down? It did. It didn't bomb. That's basically what Shazam did. It didn't bomb. But is anybody it, really it, talking about Shazam like that? No, well, it came out in a weird spot, though. That's the issue. Yeah, maybe really so. But even 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 Deadpool came out at a different spot, and everybody talked about that. Well, I mean, yeah. I so, like I said, if it was that good, that it doesn't matter when you came out. If your shit was that good. People gonna talk about it. You know, the best people can say about Shazam that it, it didn't suck. Yeah, you're right. That, that's not the highest praise you can get. Oh, well, it didn't suck. Like it, it's yeah. like one step above Justice League. People still say Wonder Woman's better or, or, or Aquaman's better. So, like I said, yeah, you 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 can throw Shazam in the mix, but who's really talking about Shazam? Like, did anybody clamor to buy it when it hit the on hit DVD, the Blu-rays? I actually didn't watch it. Yeah, yeah I, 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 know, I walk past it all the time, and I'm like, I still have no interest to see this movie, even though I know it's probably good. I, I really don't care to, not not for any personal reason. Like, I just it's not something that I'm clamoring to see right at this moment. But with the CW, I'm though, excited yeah. to see this crisis on Infinite Earths. Coming to CW, I'm I'm looking forward to this because I've been building up to it 
since about season one of The Flash. And I haven't even watched The Arrow. Like I said, I watched a little bit of Arrow. I watched maybe the first two seasons of Legends. And I only watched Supergirl when she did a crossover with The Flash. And they did the other crossovers. Other than that, the CW's made it in such a way that you technically don't even have to really watch the other shows to get a feel of what's going on in their crossovers. They'll even do you one better. They'll just have, if you go on their site, you can just watch the crossover episodes as like a little special, like a little movie. And it is like, and it's good. And like I said, it ain't the greatest thing. It ain't, it ain't going to win them no Emmys. Some of the visual effects can be a little bit shit, but it's good for that budget. And it's better than a goddamn motion major picture. Like how? You're the same company. You're under the same umbrella. How is nobody in the movie studio going like, well, you know, we're getting a lot of positive responses from our TV stuff. Maybe we should go talk to somebody from there and see if they can give us some help on what we're doing wrong here because they seem to be doing pretty decent on a smaller scale. What weight does WB have over CW? None. It's just they're in the same company. It's it's one and the same. It's Warner Brothers. Huh. So it's not like you can't tap into them. Like like you were saying, they don't have a Feige. They don't have a direction. Clearly, someone at the CW has a direction because they've been building this universe for now a few years now. There's a like I said, they've established multiverses. They pulled out old school '80s John Wesley ship flash. In their flash, he is now continuity in this universe that they have on these CW shows. Like I said, they're folding in Smallville into this show as continuity of their multiverse. And you can't get one movie right. You can't even get Superman's lips right. And they're over here giving me Tom Beef Welling. Tom this will be just fine. Welling. He's coming back. And he's wearing the cape. And we get and we're getting a Superman who plays Superman in the movies. Like, come on. Like they're 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 stacking the deck for this little mini series. And again, it's on a te network television, so it's a smaller budget, and they're pack, they're packing this shit. Like, it's like the fucking Infinity War. Because technically, it's kind of supposed to is. It's Crisis on yeah, the right. Earth. Like, this is a big DC event. Like, this is an event that should be in the movies. And they're doing it on television. For free. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Like, uh, like... Well, like Smith ha ha has been saying it, and it, it's just amazing that that the the that the the TV shows are are are, are doing much much better better than than the the, the movies. <laughs> be, 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 be because well, like I said, the TV the TV shows they have a smaller budget than and said movies, <laughs> and they're still do doing a, a, a yeah, like I mean, special effects. Ain't the greatest, like I said, it's CW graphics. You go like they, they you can tell where they spend a lot of their money, especially with the flash. Like, they'll you can tell like half their season budget or right. like one episode where they had Gorilla Grodd or, or, yeah. or King Shark, and, and the rest was just like, We're just gonna give you stock footage of the flash running. And that's the show, that's the season. The rest is stock footage of the fat of the flash running in, in blurs and, and whatever money they had, they put into whatever, whoever special effect they needed. Like I said, if there was an episode of Gorilla Grodd and the Gorilla Grodd was pretty <laughs> decent for a Gorilla Grodd for the CW. The, I think the King Shark was okay as well. But like I said, for, for network TV, they, they, they do pretty good with what they have and it's better I'm fully more in invested in the TV show shit than I would be in the movies. Like I, I have no interest in Suicide Squad. To I have no interest in Birds of Prey. I, I don't care. Like DC EU, I'm done with. Like you need to you need to fucking hit the button, hold the button, 
give it 10 seconds, and reset that bitch. Honestly, I ain't going to lie. If they tried and, like, tried to, like, yeah, if they blew it up and, like, let, they just tried to run TV, they would actually be fine, but they won't. No, 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 no. Like, the only thing, honestly, the only thing coming out of DC right now that I'm interested in is Joker. That's it. That's right. It's yeah. Joker. And uh, here's the, the 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 thing, like like the Derek. It's not that they tried; they tried way too damn hard with what the movies just to, to compete with with Marvel, and and, and look where it, it led them. Yeah, you're right. You're like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's flopped. Like, yeah, because well, you can't follow. The TV show yeah, did what your movies should have done. It gave it was a slow burn because they, like I said, they've been they've been teasing this crisis. Says season one of Flash. Literally, they've been teasing Crisis. Says season one of Flash. This shit's been a slow burn. You can literally call it like what what Marvel did that set up the Avengers, that set up Infinity Wars. They're doing that on TV right now. And like I said, the crescendo is Crisis on Infinite Earths. This is your this is DC's Infinity War, and, and it's on TV. Like how? Like how? How does nobody at Warner Brothers see this and go, "Why is this not? Why? Why are we giving this away for free? How? How? How did? How did we miss that boat? That we 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 let we let TV do what we should have done and made millions off of it. Like they, they they're giving you. You you could barely keep one Superman. They're giving us like three from different universes. Like, come on. And none of them look alike. So you it, like everything's out the window. It is like, don't even ask questions. All you all you gotta say is why does this Superman look different? Multiverse, motherfucker. That's all you need to know. <laughs> don't ask questions. Like, why did the flash come through looking like like uh the Flash TV show's dad. Don't ask questions. Multiverse, motherfucker. Just, just accept it. And, and I'm like, hey, I'm cool with that. Dude. Multiverse. Anything's possible. Exactly. But it's just like, it's just to me, it's it's funny and it's sad at the same time. Like, bro, why? How is how is how is the CW? And the CW itself is a channel that has gone through so many changes. It used to be the CW. It was used to be the WB. Uh, growing up in New York, it used to just be Channel Eleven, and and then it and I don't know, it had so many different names. But like, yeah, it's 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 known to make nothing but Dawson Creek, One Tree Hill like TV, and it's out there fucking doing better in fucking DC universe than the movie. This is sad, it's fucking sad. DC man, get just you, you should be ashamed of yourself. Man. Yes. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Whoever's, whoever's in charge needs to be. I, I'm not one for other people losing jobs, but someone needs to lose a job. Just come on, go. Yeah, yeah for real. Like someone needs to, 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 to get fired. <laughs> Man, honestly, the way I see it, whoever was over Warner Brothers probably saw it like how. Sony see Spider Man and just try to use it as a straight cash cow instead of actually trying to make something good. Mm -hmm. That is, and that doesn't work. I think what happened because <laughs> if you're gonna do something that you know people are gonna like and you think it would make money, you still got to make it a labor of love, which is why Marvel succeeds. They actually put heart into it instead of just throwing it out there and trying to reel in as much cash as possible. That doesn't work. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like the, the CW shit is kind of like it's fan service because, like I said, a lot of people been asking for all this multiverse stuff, and it's like it 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 only seems plausible because all these shows were on the same network. But it's like now it's like boom, here you have it, and it's like wow, like this is amazing. Like favorite show, past shows are now merging with present shows to like have a bigger picture and it's like wow like that's amazing that you can do that on a such a smaller scale that it's like then you look over there and you're like wow you're you're supposed to be like the standard bearer here we're supposed to follow your lead and here we are 
fucking setting an example. Like I said, there's real hype for this shit. Like people are looking forward to this crisis on infinite earths because they want to see what's going to happen. They know somebody's going to die. More than likely, it's going to be Arrow since he's this is his final season. But it was supposed to be the Flash, but we don't know. See, that could be a red herring. It could still be the Flash, but you got to tune in the crisis. Yep. So hey, let's talk about what about Star Wars and Disney. Daniel, like, what is there to say? Yeah. About what? Talk about Star Wars. I, think like... I mean, what's uh, there to say? What's there to say about know. Star Wars? About what the 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 Last Jedi or the Last Skywalker? What that's what it's called, the Last Skywalker. No, uh, Rise, I think. Rise of the Skywalker, or whatever. I didn't mean, we, like, it's... did we already cover that trailer from D twenty three? We're not covering, but talk about it. We, we, we I, I think I don't, I don't recall because since we don't watch trailers no more. But we, uh, I mean, look at it like this. I'm, I'm on the side of this. Like Star Wars has lost a lot of luster for a lot of many different reasons. Be it political, and be it just canon stuff. Or just how certain characters in the fi- the newer films are being portrayed is to me it's just like I stopped caring. Like like I, I get it. Like raise a Mary Sue. She is. She is. The, the the I can see why so many people are so bitter about it. Like and me, I'm I'm a casual Star Wars fan. So when I see all the diehards out there being so butthurt, and it's like, why are you so butthurt? And then I look at it and I'm like, okay, I understand. Because she is a Mary Sue. She she did nothing to learn the Force. She just woke up and had it. But we learned in, in several other films, Luke had Luke didn't become a master till the last film. And and I can see where that rubs people the wrong way about it, because it's like she didn't she did nothing to earn her powers. She just showed up. Like Luke didn't even know he he had Jedi in his blood until Obi Wan showed up in his crib. Yeah. Yes, but Daniel Disney is trying their best, but they're not doing their best. No, they're not. They're trying their best to give you the Star Wars they think you want, even though everybody and their mama told them, "No, we don't want that. Give us this one." They said, "No." We think you'll like this one better, and they said, "No, we won't. We want this one." They said, "No, no, no." Take this one. This is good. We 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 made it special for you. They said we didn't ask for that special for us. Just give us the one we had because we like that one. They said no no no. But you gotta try this one. This one is good. You're gonna like it. And they said we already saw it. We didn't like it. We want this one. And that's what's happening. People are telling them they don't want it. They keep trying to give it to them. People expressed it. They didn't want you to kill Luke. And you killed him. Nobody wanted you to kill Han, and you killed him. The one person you didn't kill is actually dead, <laughs> which is crazy. Plus, you did kind of kill her, and then she turned to Mary Poppins. Yeah, that shit like that. You just you 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 begging people to want midichlorians back. That that's 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 how soft that the the, the 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 Star Wars people are. That. They they crave for midichlorians because you gave them Mary Poppins in space. The only good thing, which we, which we never knew, was a thing you could do with the Force. It, 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 it was never expressed that you can just somehow live in a vacuum of space. Even though clearly the visual showed that you were already like frozen solid, but somehow got the will to to Mary Poppins your ass back into the ship. Dude, literally the only good thing Disney's doing with Star Wars is the Mandalorian. Yeah. That shit looks good. That's that's the only good thing coming out of Disney right now is is the Mandalorian. Like I don't even like fuck the movies, bro. The movies the movies they killed themselves. They they played themselves. They they went too political with it. They had too many agendas and they just stopped listening to the fans. You know the fans. The fans was, was trying to push you and push them in the right direction, and they just like, no, nah, don't worry about it. We we know what you want, and it was like, no, we're telling you what we want, and just it, it's it's a, it's a clusterfuck. 
But like I said, Disney, and plus they're failing. And, 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 and here's the thing. We've said this in the past. You know, speak with your wallet. People are speaking with their wallet. That, 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 that galaxy shit in Disney is bombing. Like, ain't nobody going. It, it's, it's literally bombing. Like, no one is showing up to that galaxy. What's it called? Galaxy? Um, Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, uh, Galaxy's Edge. Like, no one's, I, I, from what I'm hearing, no one's showing up to that shit. No. Nah. So people are speaking with their wallets. Solo didn't do well. Like I said, it's not. There's only a few things with the Star Wars name at it that people will fuck with. They'll fuck with, like I said, Mandalorian, uh, Rebels when it was on. Other than that, nobody like live action Star Wars. Really, ain't nobody trying to fuck with you right now because y'all, y'all just y'all not hearing nobody. You just hear what you want to hear and be damned. Be damned the people who put the money in the guy in your fucking pocket. Yep. You know, like I said, the people have spoken. Yeah, your, your shit, they're not buying. <laughs> yeah, y'all spent all that money in that in that park, and everybody's like, fuck you. <laughs> not going. I don't care if I can sit in a Melonian Falcon, suck my <laughs> suck my my nerf herder. <laughs> So yeah, that's that's what I think about Star Wars and Disney. But Daniel, they 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 they've sullied they've sullied the name of a good product that we 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 already healed from the from the prequels, and then just like that, full blown blades. Yep, we thought we were out of the woods, blades. I was like, man, I just got rid of that fucking prequel infection. Got the midichlorians off of me. Blades. And, to, and, and the only way to to counteract that uh, that infection is to watch the, the the original Star Wars classics. Yeah, and it helped. And like I said, we when 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 the new movie came out, it was like, okay, we might be going back into a right direction. And again, that one like. Everybody says it's basically a new hope remade, and it is. But we accepted it because it was like, okay, it's a little bit different. It just when it got to the point where, like I said, when when Ray became a Mary Sue, that's when the people started to turn because it's like, hold up, how? Well, how's this? How, how 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 all of a sudden she just she she all of a sudden she Leroy? She got the glow. Like how the fuck you just come up here and catch the glow? You ain't the you ain't the chosen one. It's episode eight to PC to watch. What are you talking about episode eight? Oh, you mean episode eight is too politically correct? And I mean, again, we we we've touched on this in past episodes. Like the the premise of a lot of that last one was ridiculous. It made no sense. Like, why are you gonna have? Why are you gonna have a plan and then not tell your soldiers? Like that makes no sense. Like you would think, unless you had a reason to think that Poe Dameron was like somehow couldn't be trusted, and he's itching for a scratch to fucking fight. Instead of sitting there belittling him. Just put him onto the plan so he can help where he can where he's needed. Instead, he's out there trying to create mutiny. What was the point of that? None. The Canto bond was used was 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 a <coughs> Star Wars is just it got on a soapbox that I'm trying to get off of because it, 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 I stopped caring. But it's it's but I recognized the stupid that was in it mm -hmm. because it was a lot of stupid, <clears throat> a lot of fucking stupid. Now you got anything else for me, for Daniel? Other than that, you want to talk about like other Disney properties? Because there's other things outside of, uh, you know, Star Wars. You know, we could talk like Marvel. You know, the X Men are coming. The X Men, yeah, yeah. Actually, for real, for real, Apple and Sony are well. Apple and Sony are trying to go at it for selling 
the the uh, the rumor has it. Um, uh, but what we'll actually to 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 explain the story in more depth in more depth. Um, the story with Spider Man right now is is kind of a bit complicated. Sony uh, just went to Disney and offered them a thirty percent deal to get <laughs> back into the MCU on one condition: they want Venom to go with Spider Man. Disney has is putting that deal on hold in the possibility that Apple or Amazon, uh, some source have claimed, that they, they, they will want to buy Sony Pictures. And everybody knows if Sony Pictures is bought, Spider Man's rights revert ba back to Marvel. It's probably a tactic for Disney to basically get Spider Man back for free if in, if, if the purchase uh, uh, goes through. Yeah, see, Sony try to play hardball. Look at that. You buy the play yourself. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Now you, now, now you get nothing. <laughs> now you get nothing. See, see what happens when you fucking play too long with your hand in the cookie jar? You, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers giving you an offer. They're giving you crumbs that you shouldn't even have in the first place. Exactly. You know you know, Spider-Man ain't yours. Yeah, you you own the, the rights to make movies, but he ain't yours. And you've been holding on him. For real, for real. Giving out shit movie, like it. and now here you find yourself either going either either you gonna take a shit deal from these from from Disney now, or you just gonna lose it completely and get nothing. Yep. Shit. Right. Yo, for real, for real. If, yeah, like I, like I keep on saying, if Sony didn't have Spider Man, they would already probably they probably already be dead in the water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. You try to you try to you try to you try to break fly. Try to try to try to act like you was the money man. Try to flex in a no flex zone, and, and this is what happens. One thing I'm excited Blade. for Blade. Everybody excited for Blade because who doesn't like Blade? Hell yeah! Right. Right, like yeah, just looking at Sony's track record, you look at Emoji Movie, which he was all hands on for. Instead of Spider Verse, flopped. You look at Men <sighs> Black International, flopped. Flop. A lot of movies that are remakes that are coming out with it are probably gonna flop, and not like even for Bad Boys. Yo, I don't want to see that flop, but it's probably gonna flop. Bad Boy, I mean, Black Men in Black International flops so hard, bro. Like I forget, it, it, it came and gone quicker than they they neuralized me because I forgot all about that. <laughs> shit. For I was done after three, so I didn't even go see it. I, I, so. yeah, I never even <laughs> thought about seeing it. I'm like, uh, I mean. It, it 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 it's like I said. And nowadays, like the stuff they try to pull out there, it's like I'm done. If it's not a superhero movie or some original IP, I'm done with. I'm done with remakes, man. Stop, stop giving us shit. We, and it it be one thing if it was old. It's like okay, remaking classics like shit from the '60s and '70s and, and when classics. Just because you make a movie. Like you make you're remaking a movie that ain't even like 30, 40 years old. Like the Men in Black series is still fresh in people's mind. All right. right. These cats out there still not, not, doing the Men in Black dance from Will Smith. It, it's not something that's missed. So why are you giving us something that we already had? Like it's literally we still tasting Men in Black 3. Right. When did that movie? And then come even out? then. Like, like they're, they're talking, talking about, about redoing like Princess Bride. Bride. They're about to really tank off of that. They're gonna piss a lot of people off just for redoing it. I'd rather they just remaster it and re-release it in theaters. Do fucking Rocky Horror Pritchard that shit. Like stop. Like like really Hollywood. Y'all need to come up with new IP, bro. Y'all can't. It, it's just this trend of just remaking shit is is old, man. Yep. Because you don't see nothing else that's fresh. Like the freshest thing we've had that's not Marvel is John Wick. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So nobody else is coming up with anything different. Disney can barely come up with anything different. Yeah, they're, we, they're lucky they have Marvel. <laughs> yeah, they're lucky they have like Marvel's probably. I wouldn't say it's it's new IP because it's it's based off of things. But yeah, they got nothing. They 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 they're about to sit there and try to cram a uh, fucking Frozen Two down people's throats in a minute. Yeah. Well, I saw that one coming. I'm talking about like if you look at it, like they they didn't need to make Toy Story Four. They could have cut that off easily at three. 
Yeah. Look at uh, Padano. Um, the only reason we're getting another Ghostbusters is because Ghostbusters 2016 blew so much ass. Blew so much ass that they had to make a proper Ghostbusters because I don't care what you say. No, it, nobody cared about that fem the female Ghostbusters. And not because they were females, but because the movie was bad. No, the, the, bad. Movie, the movie did nothing. But shoved the the, the the movie did nothing but just shove political agenda down our throats. It, Not even it was a, and honestly, the comedy the comedy wasn't the comedy of it wasn't hitting because it was like you're you're trying to do too much ad lib as if this is like some SNL skit and you're trying to do it you're trying to do an SNL skit in a two hour movie. And like it doesn't work, especially it's just like it's not hitting. Like the cast you have is like okay, they're funny individually, but clearly together no. It's just it's not hitting. It, it was a poor excuse to do a Ghostbusters, and, and then when you try to play that hand of 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 PC, it, it just shot you in the foot, and nobody cared. And like I said, you can all sit, they can all sit there and go, well, it's because of. Misogyny or whatever bullshit. No, well, no one cared about being female. They, they cared that it sucked. Yeah, it sucked. I'm sorry, suck. Whether it be male or female, it can suck. Okay, look at Daredevil. It can suck. Uh huh. Yes, it can. And that's <laughs> that's, my favorite, that's one of my favorite movies from back in the day. It's garbage. <laughs> oh, it can man. suck, and it don't matter if it's a. Because here's the thing, and and. And I, here's the irony of people don't sit there and like really think about it. They try to play the, oh, because it was females. Well, when Melissa McCarthy does other things, they succeed because they were good. When uh, Kristen Wick, when she does stuff, it, it, does, it succeeds. It did good. So how is it now? You're still the same females. You're just in a bad movie. That's it. It happens. It happens. Sometimes you just get put in a bad movie. It's not to say discredit your abilities. You just you just got in a, you got involved in a movie that wasn't hit. That's yep. it. Wasn't hit. Got, got nothing to do with your gender. It just wasn't hit. That's it. Because y'all you you y'all proven already that you can make good movies. I, I saw Bridesmaid. That's a good film. You know what I'm saying? That's a funny movie, but. This one just wasn't one. Sometimes, sometimes you strike out, man. but don't take it personal. But they took it personal, so that's what happened. Yeah. Uh, okay, Megan, come back. Terminator, Dark Fate. I, I mean, um, you know, people trying to drop the whole because James Cameron's back that somehow this is gonna right the ship. That's not a guarantee. It, it's not a guarantee. Terminator just needs to stop. They need to stop making them. They, just they get do. It off. <laughs> Because something tells me uh, this Terminator is getting woke. <laughs> this Terminator is woke. Starting to get woke. Like, this so, is my point. Like, you this see, Terminator is going to be so all these, correct. You see all these movies coming out. Like You don't need, like, there's stuff that shouldn't be just dropping just because, like, oh, you, but you see, like, cool. Avatar 2 coming just out, it's just because. not worth it. And, and half of them are woke. Like this, this Terminator is kind of woke. So we got a new woke Terminator female. She's strong. She, 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 she's, you know, buff female Terminator. And then we got the uh, Latino Terminator. Like I said, it's woke. It's woke. Terminator is woke. I'm telling you, I'm calling it right now. It's woke. Think, 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 think Terminator ain't woke. Who who they who they trying to keep alive? Some young ethnic girl. They woke. Terminator is woke. <laughs> this shit is this shit is the future is woke. Come with me, Santa Cana, if you want to get woke. <laughs> uh, Cameron had nearly nothing to do with this, probably because he's still sitting there trying to still trying to make that next Avatar movie. That's what. Or, or digging down the bottom of the ocean looking for SpongeBob. Man, knowing him, he'd be like, oh, let's go remake Titanic. <laughs> let's go make another billion dollars. 
That's probably what he's doing. He probably saw Avengers took his spot and he's like, okay, I, he probably scrapped that whole he probably he probably scrapped that whole Avatar sequel he had. He's like, nah, this gotta be better. It's gotta be better. We gotta do it all over. <laughs> uh for us. I think regardless of bite wanted to know what is woke. You don't know what woke is. <laughs> woke. Woke is a term by the uh the the the, the PC people. As being awake, you you woke now. You see, you see the light. You woke. You see, you see, you see the oppression and the racism in the world. You woke. That's what that means. Yeah. So Terminator is going. To get, that's why I said Terminator is woke. They got they got Lat- they got Latino Terminator. They got a, they got a female Terminator. They woke. They woke now. It ain't gonna be just no basic straight white man chasing you down trying to kill you. Oh no, a Latino gonna chase you down and kill you now. Cause we woke. <laughs> no, no longer with some big buff Austrian man chase you down and, and try to murder you. Now a nice Latino piece, a person of color will hunt you down and kill you. Cause we woke. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. I cracked myself. I cracked myself up. <laughs> Anything else you want to talk about, but Daniel, like Terminator, I, I, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm gonna skip it like I skip Genesis. I really, I don't, I really don't care. Like I said, Terminator, Terminator ended after Judge, Terminator ended at Judgment Day. We don't, we don't talk about those other Terminators like that. The, the same way we don't talk about Michael Bay, Transformers. We don't talk about anything after Judgment Day. We might mention Rise of the Machines a little bit, but mostly we stick to Judgment Day. I mean, I, I kind of like, like Salvation. What's that? I, I kind of like Salvation. I mean, it's not it's not terrible, but it 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 just kind of like it had more questions than it did answer. Yeah. Because it's like, okay, we already know John Connor would become leader of the resistance. Why do we have to see him earn his stripes? Can't we couldn't we just jump to that point while we while we jump into the point where he's out here proving himself to be the savior? When you everybody everybody else knows you you the mythical savior that's supposed to be that guy. Why we gotta get why we why we while we watching him at the tryouts? Can we just get to the finals? Good point. Yeah. And I think that's what hurt it. Like, no, I don't think nobody cared for a John Connor origin of how he becomes leader of the resistance. How about we just get to that point? We, we've already been spoon fed for years that he was going to be the leader of the resistance. That's why Terminators kept coming to try to kill his ass. He screamed a lot in that movie. <laughs> oh, Christian Bale. Yeah, he's always the he was always the leader in the timeline. He's he's always the guy. He was like like why why am I seeing him take orders from other dudes? Like no, he's supposed to be the guy. I don't want to see him be the guy behind the guy. Fuck that. I want to see I don't want to see John Connor paying dues. <laughs> like who the fuck who the fuck wants to see John Connor paying dues? From the time from the time I can remember. That 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 was the main mission of the Terminator. Kill Sarah Connor so John Connor's not born. That fucked up. John Connor's born. Kill John Connor. That ain't work. Let's kill John Connor's people and protect John Connor to get to the point of him being this fucking leader. I don't want to see him fucking paying dues. Fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, that fuck that noise. <clears throat> yes, Terminator did teach us how to work, how to fight back in, in work camps. Yes, it did. All right, anything else on the agenda before we call on the bots? Uh, I got nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I think we're going to call it here. All right. As always, I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight. You like what you see? Definitely smash that like button. 
Make sure you subscribe and click those notifications so you're always informed of future episodes. Yes. You got a lot. And, um, oh, before we leave, want to get a quick congratulations to someone who has worked hard to be the best. He has shown us that if you try really hard and work really hard, someday you too can be a champion. I want to congratulate everyone's favorite Pokemon trainer, Ash Ketchum, for finally winning tournament finals. For finally, for finally, for finally uh, winning the Alolan Pokemon League. Yes, congratulations, Ash Ketchum. <laughs> finally, finally winning a big one. Uh, I took. Took, took you 22 fucking years, but you got there. You worked hard. Which, okay, here's the thing real quick before we wrap. Yep. I do not like the anime version of Ash. He looks weird without a nose. <laughs> I hope they're gonna fix I hope they're gonna fix that for the US version. Cause he just looks weird without a nose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he looks kind of weird. I'm with it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You rummage through forest and talk to many strangers without being sexually assaulted. Somehow now you are a champion. Congratulations to your boy. Congratulations. You hold back a, a pervert Brock and an abusive Misty. But you made it. You didn't keep a lot of Pokemon. You let you set a lot free, which defeats the purpose of catching them all. But I uh, sometimes po sometimes the Butterfree just gotta fly, baby. Sometimes the Butterfree just gotta fly. Gotta let that Charmander set that Charmander free. He'll come back to you when you need him. But yeah, I, I had to shout that out because I, I saw that and I was like, someone actually like this was newsworthy some places. I was like, really? Like I could, I stopped watching after the Johto League, so I didn't realize Ash still hadn't won a tournament. Uh, I uh, I stopped watching the anime after the first few episodes of Pokemon Black and White, be, be, because the Black and White anime was uh, god awful. Don't watch it. <laughs> mm. nah, I would only watch the the, the, the U.S. version because, like I said, the Ash the, the anime Ash has no face, <laughs> and he freaks me out. Freaks me out. <laughs> but, yeah, like I said, I quit after Johto, so I I, I, I would have assumed he would have won a tournament somewhere, but apparently he didn't. But like I said, good on him. Right. So with yeah. that being said, we're going to call it a night. Yep. You know where we are. Yeah. You know where to find us. We'll see you guys next week for another... Toy show with some spaghetti and friends. See you next week. Peace. Peace out. Peace. Peace, bitches. <laughs>